If there is anything we know about life, it is that nothing ever stays the same. That's the dynamic at play in 2 Kings chapter 2. Elijah and Elisha are sharing a significant transfer of prophetic power in an important transition for the Israelite people. And Elisha, for one, was longing for some promise, some comfort that he would be able to rise to the formidable example set by his predecessor. So he asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Indeed, nothing ever stays the same. Life is full of change. We go from adolescence to adulthood and experience both the rewards and the challenges, the, the newfound freedom and the heavy responsibility. We go from singlehood to couplehood and, and increase both our capacity for love and our responsibility to each other. We experience grief in the loss of a loved one and realize that, that life without that person by our side will never be the same. Change can be hard and it's inevitable. In his important book, Transitions by William Bridges, he talks about the three phases that one must go through whenever going through a significant change in their lives. The letting go stage, the letting be stage, and the letting begin stage. First, there's the letting go stage. It's the difficult and painful acknowledgement that the change that has now occurred will now be in the past, never to be relived or regained. We might remember the past, honor the past, even celebrate the past, but we cannot go completely back to the way things were before. Just like tearing muscle fibers so that they can eventually grow back stronger, the letting go stage is marked by resistance and emotional upheaval because we are being forced to let go of something that we are comfortable with. Elisha hit that letting go stage as he was staring up at Elijah, as he was drifting out of sight, and then he was gone. Then there is the letting be stage, or what William Bridges also calls the neutral zone. Here, the initial dust has settled, but there is still significant emotional challenge. Now, there's not as much anger or denial or fear but there is much more confusion and uncertainty and impatience. This is the in-between time. It's a period when you feel most helpless and most lost and most longing for a new reality to emerge. It is in these neutral zones of life that we can only acknowledge that we are ultimately not in control of much of what happens to us. And therefore, we have nothing left but to trust God and to surrender ourselves to following God's lead one step at a time. These times are difficult, but they can also be transformative. Elisha entered this neutral zone of letting be as he tore his clothes, presumably in grief. And then he noticed that Elijah's cloak had dropped from the chariot. And this was a turning point in this neutral zone for him as he dipped that cloak in the river and he watched that river part. And immediately he recognized that as tenuous and nervous as he might have felt about this new chapter of his life, he had God at his side. And that helped him enter the final stage, the letting begin stage. It's a time of new beginnings and new power and, and new possibilities. Of course, little did he know that shortly after receiving the mantle, Elisha would be confronted by the jeering insults of the public. And it would have been very easy and quite understandable for him to throw in the towel and turn and walk away. But by the time those insults started, Elisha was emboldened. He showed no signs of nerves or, or doubt. He had gone through the letting go stage and the letting be stage, and now he was ready to begin this new journey with God, come what may. And that's what can happen for you. You may not feel like you can make it through whatever change you're going through, but you can. Let go of the past, be present in the moment, and know that God is going to be with you every step that lies ahead.